Well, John, overall, the chamber says Omaha businesses are continuing to grow with new businesses and jobs still being added. Businessman Jonathan McIntosh hopes his business continues to see that trend. And good news for him, his product actually made national news this morning on NBC's Today Show. You're looking at one of the newest products being made right here in Omaha. Kind of had one of those uh, forehead moments of uh, why, why hasn't this uh, been done before. But it's being done now and makes tiling your floor much easier. They're called snap stones. It starts out with a, a quality porcelain tile. And on the back is where the secret sauce is. We have a, a, a built-in subfloor substrate. And around the outside edges, there are teeth. Align the tabs. Typically start on one side and click the two together. Put in some grout and you're done. It's a growing business just taking off. We had about a 15-fold uh, growth from 2006 to 2007. The Snapstone Company is just one example of what many businesses are experiencing in the metro. At the annual Chamber of Commerce meeting today, despite national fears of an economic slowdown, 1,500 people learned about Omaha's economic success of 2007. We're still being impacted by housing as it is happening around the rest of the country, but our economy has been able to generate a lot of other investments in other areas that has caused construction to happen, job creation to happen, investment to happen. 45 projects that we were able to close. That's about $250 million in capital investment and about 1,500 new jobs. Success Omaha businesses hope keeps stacking up. For these tiles, it's now off to area stores. For the Snapstone Company, who knows how far it will go. Maybe the next big success. And McIntosh is playing his own part in bringing jobs here to Omaha. When he bought the, the Snapstone's concept in 2005, he brought production from Mexico right back here to Omaha.